What is fuzzy cognitive mapping? Fuzzy cognitive mapping is a method to understand how and why complex systems change in relation to their own components. But first, what does fuzzy mean? It is often related to disorder, confusion or lack of clarity. When an image is blurred, out of focus or unclear, we often say it's fuzzy. However, in science, the word fuzzy is used to describe an approach that incorporates uncertainty in our reasoning process. But how does this fuzzy approach work? Our world is complex and most of the time we try to simplify it to make it more understandable. For example, let's take this flock of sheep. Each sheep has a different color fleece, but they can be divided into two broad groups, dark and light. However, by doing that, we may lose details and information. To avoid this loss of information, we can use a fuzzy approach, an approach that embraces, rather than erases, the variability of our world and tries to quantify it. For example, if we assign a value 1 to the color black, and zero to the color white, we can give each sheep a number based on their color and its proximity to the colors black or white. Therefore, a dark fleece will get a value close to one, a light fleece will get a value close to zero, and different shades of gray will get values that fall in between. A more elaborate example we can use is a sheep farm. Some of the key components of a sheep farm are its livestock, its meadows and pastures, but also the final products of animal farming, like milk or cheese, and obviously the herder and the wealth. All these components are connected and correlated with one another. For example, livestock and cheese are connected because cheese is produced with sheep milk. Using the fuzzy approach, we can define this connection to be very strong because without sheep, there is no milk and without milk, there is no cheese. Using a scale between 0 and 1, we can estimate a value of 0.8 for the relationship between the number of sheep and the amount of milk and cheese available. Livestock and grassland are also connected because animals eat grass. The connection is again quite strong because without grass there are no sheep. But unlike in the previous example, the amount of grass decreases when the sheep graze. Therefore, we should give the connection a high number but a negative value, like minus 0 0.7. Following the same rationale, we can create the other connections, estimate their strength, and decide if they're positive or negative. The connections are not only positive or negative but are weighted based on their importance. This allows us to map the degree of correlation between different components in any complex system. Fuzzy cognitive mapping is routinely used in many fields to facilitate decision making, from economics to business, from ecology to robotics, and it has recently expanded to landscape research and planning. By identifying key components or concepts and estimating the strength of their connections, 
we can map the fuzzy character of complex systems and investigate their adaptive behavior.